Breaking news, New Jersey Councilwoman Eunice Jufor was shot and killed outside of her home in Sayreville, New Jersey. Late last night, she crashed her car after being repeatedly shot while behind the wheel. A 30-year-old Republican Councilwoman was pronounced dead at the scene after being shot multiple times, and police believe she was the intended target. But so far, a motive for the shocking, cold-blooded killing remains a mystery. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live at the scene in Sayreville with the breaking details. Anthony the councilwoman was sitting in her Nissan Murano vehicle just a few feet from where I am standing. That's where the shots rang out. Residents out here, they heard the shots last night around 730, saying there were multiple shots, a series of shots that they heard. The councilwoman's car then took off down this road, and it crashed into a vehicle's down the road from here, and that's where police found her dead inside of the vehicle. And as you said, now police and authorities are looking for a motive. I heard the bang, bang, bang in, in succession twice. The murder of Councilwoman Eunice Jumfor has shaken her neighbors who were home when shots rang out last night around 730 in the roadway next to her apartment building. I can't tell you how many it was, but I heard boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, oh, shoot, that is a gunfire. June 4 was elected to the city council in 2022 and was seen here attending a council meeting on January 23rd of this year. She is from Newark, New Jersey, and was serving as a member of the GOP on the Sayreville Council. The fact that this incident happened in this quiet neighborhood is shocking. Like five or seven gunshots. That's basically it. I think I was ready to peek out the window, and I didn't. Then I just walked away. The councilwoman was found inside her car which traveled about 100 feet and slammed into two other parked vehicles. At this point, it appears the councilwoman's murder was targeted. I mean, I pray for their family, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I'm just praying for them right now. Now, a couple of residents out here say they did see somebody run from the scene. There's a separation between a couple of these apartment buildings. They saw that person running in that direction, then finally jumping over a fence to get away from the scene. There is a camera near this location that may have picked up something. Investigators are still out here on the scene. This case is being handled, of course, by local cops and the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office.